Hello, this is Chelsea Marks for VETT 221, task number one, and um, we're going to go ahead and explain how to use the anesthetic machine. So step one is to make sure that your source of oxygen is on and that you have an adequate amount. So we're going to zoom in here and show you how much oxygen we have. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay, you can hear it filling. Perfect. So now that that's on all the way, we can go ahead and see here that we have um, about a thousand pounds of oxygen. So we have plenty enough um, for our procedure today. Okay, so here we are at our anesthetic machine. I'm gonna zoom out all the way and then zoom in close when we need to. So we have um, our machine here. Okay, so we have our machine here. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is verify that um, the oxygen is working, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the flow meter here, and I'll zoom in to show you that. So the flow meter there is on, and right here at about one. So we have um, oxygen flowing, and that's great. Um, so we're going to turn that off, okay, and zoom back out. Second thing we're going to do here is verify that our vaporizer has enough gas anesthetic in it. So I'm going to zoom back in. And I'm going to show you here. Hopefully you can see it moving around. There it is. So this is the level um, right here where our gas anesthetic is. So it has more than half, a um, little, little more than half full. So we have plenty of gas anesthetic in our machine. Third thing we're going to want to check here is our um, soda lime. So we have our um, date that we changed that last. So um, this is going to go ahead and absorb the exhaled CO2 um, so the patient's not breathing it. So we're going to use um, a rebreather today. Um, so this is going to actually um, take out all of that CO2 that is exhaled by the patient. So it looks like our granules are nice and white. I'm going to zoom in on that as well. So white granules are good and the date says it was changed yesterday so if they are purple or slightly turning purple they are expired but these are white and they're not crumbly so we're looking good um, and again it was just changed yesterday so we're good as far as that goes so um, for our patient today I've gone ahead and um, selected our tube but I'm going to take it off and show you how to assemble this here so um, we have our unidirectional inhalation, exhalation that goes up here on our machine. So we have this little fresh gas outlet closed. We have our inhalation, we have our exhalation. Um, we have our pop-off valve open right now. And we have selected an appropriate size bag here. This is the one liter bag. And then now we're gonna go ahead and trace the source of the oxygen. So I'm going to turn the machine around here a bit. Hopefully we can all see what's going on. Okay, so our oxygen comes in um, from right here. Let's zoom out. Okay, so our oxygen comes in from right there. It's going to meet the machine here in the back. So we have the back side of it right here. So that's going to go into our flow meter here and raise that oxygen ball up and down when we turn that on. From there, it's gonna go behind here. So we're chasing, you can hardly see that. It's black on blue, so it's really hard to see. But here um, from the uh, flow meter goes into here and it's gonna actually go into the vaporizer. So I'll turn it around again. And we have our vaporizer here. So it's gonna collect the um, liquid gas anesthetic and go through this here, this tube, and into our inhalation, into our unidirectional um, valve here, our tube, and then into the patient here. So the endotracheal tube would be connected here. Let's zoom back out. And exhaled breaths are going to go out this exhale side, and then um, down, let's see, Beep through past our pop-off valve, which is right here, okay? And then out our scavenging system. So I'm gonna zoom in down there on our scavenging system. Can't really see it. 
So I'm gonna bring it up here. So we have a passive scavenging system here. We don't have an active one. It's not gonna actually vacuum it out. So we change these about once a day, every other day. Um, and this is gonna go ahead and collect um, that waste anesthetic gas. So that is connected here and sitting down there. And the last thing we're gonna go ahead and do is perform a low pressure test. So to so be sure that the machine can hold pressure and that there's no leaks anywhere in our system, we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and close the pop-off valve up here. We're gonna occlude the tube with our finger. We're gonna turn on the oxygen and we're gonna fill right up here. We're gonna fill our bag to about 30 centimeters of water and see if it holds. So, fill here. Okay, so we're zoomed in there and it looks like it's holding at 30. I'm gonna zoom in a little tighter. Okay, if anything it's going up. So that's good, you don't wanna see that falling. So now we're gonna release the pressure pop-off valve and that worked correctly. We're gonna get rid of that oxygen into the scavenging system. Zoom back out here.